The Funky Podcast. The Funky Podcast. We're doing a podcast. The Funky Podcast. Yeah. What are we going to talk about? Funky Podcast. Yeah. The Funky Podcast. Skirt. Funky Podcast. Oh, wow. Funky. Oh, oh, oh. Funky Podcast, Jesus. Yeah. The Funky Podcast. Welcome to the Funky Podcast. My name is Kieran. Uh, my name is Spartacus, but uh, I typically go by Sean. Okay, and we are going to do a podcast. Welcome to the Funky Podcast. Today on this Funky Podcast, we are going to talk about uh, unmade movies, actually. Yeah, uh, um, I'm a big fan of movies. I've seen at least two movies, possibly more. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, no, very incredible. Uh, these ones you haven't seen at all. Yeah, no, if you've seen them, then um, you are from an alternate timeline. Yeah. yeah. Should, as such, be investigated by scientists. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so uh, let's uh, go. Do you want to start with your first one? Uh, you go first. I'm shit at intros. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Um, uh, I think I am anyway. Okay. So the first uh, movie, uh, the unmade film that I am going to mention is... Probably Treasure Planet 2. Hmm. Have you seen the film Treasure Planet, Sean? I haven't, but I do know it's like... It, it's like it's like the big, like, quote-unquote, like, cult classic film by Disney. Yeah, cause... so it's a movie that was kind of... It did well critically, kind of, hmm. but it flopped, like all across the board. I wasn't sure why, because it is very, very good. And if you haven't seen it, it's very good. I won't get into too much of the plot. It's just very um, sort of a uh, young boy kind of has heroic dreams and goes off on a pirate ship and uh, all these like different creatures are in it. And it's, uh, he's, it's really about relationships and stuff like that. It's a beautifully animated movie. It's uh it's one of my favorites. It's really, really, really good. Highly recommend it. I, I saw it when I was a kid. It was on video and stuff like that. And I got to revisit it because it's on Disney Plus. So it's uh, a great way for it to kind of gain new fans. But the the fandom for it are completely insane. Like really, really insane. Like uh, they've like edited like things that could literally do look like the second film. And... I don't know, like, they were in production on the film. Like, they they were ready to go. They were doing concepts. They had voice actors picked out. I believe Willem Dafoe was involved. Yeah. And, yeah, it just, it fell through. So, yeah, it's, um, it's crazy. It's, it's very, very crazy. Did so. they, um, were they getting, were they, like, were they starting, like, pre-production on this, like, before the first one came out? Um... I don't know. Uh, unfortunately, I don't uh. have all the facts. I just know that it did look incredible, and they they probably did. Uh, it was probably just as it came out, they were ready to go with it, and like obviously doing concepts and stuff like that. And they they definitely were doing further adventures with this character and these mm. characters. Um, it does leave it off a little bit with the first movie. It does leave off. A sort of vibe that they will uh, revisit this world again. And yeah. uh, the ending, like, it does give up a vibe that you will see these people again. But we never did. And it, you know what? It's fine. Because we have one very, very great film. And I'm uh, highly impressed with that. So Yeah, no, I think um, it's the kind of film that, like, I honestly think, like, nowadays, like, since, like, there's, like, the fan base built in already right now. Like, yeah, yeah. they... I mean, assuming, like, the people involved, like, want to do it, like, they could honestly probably come back and do it for, like, like maybe, like, a Disney Plus series or something. Like, I'm thinking, like, at least yeah. something, like, straight on to Disney Plus, because then it's, like, a bit lower stakes. Like, if it doesn't take off, it's, like, you know, not That's as big of a true. failure. Yeah. And if it does take off, well, they got, like, a big show now or something. A big, yeah, big movie. It's, it's true. Um, and that's, um, 
even though like the film was like the, the film was like pretty popular when it came out, but like you know it's kind of what they're doing now with like Princess and the Frog, where it's like it came out and it wasn't like I don't know it wasn't huge when it came out, but it's like it's got a following and like you know they're still doing like you know like TV stuff for it now and you know it's getting rides at like Disneyland and stuff, so it's. You know, it's uh, it's alive anyway. Yeah, it's alive. Yeah, yeah. No, there was a there was a petition I saw. Uh, I think it was on, you know, that change dot org site yeah. um, <laughs> about uh, it was like concepts and stuff, and they were like make this series, and it was like Treasure Planet stuff. So yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's interesting. It's very very interesting, and yeah. uh, I would have been very interested to see more. But you know what? Sometimes a one movie is okay. Mm. Like I wish I didn't see. Jaws 2, 3, and 4, and all the other ones. Every shark movie might as well be a Jaws film. At this point, why not? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's just, uh, you know, E.T. never got a sequel. Thank God. Mm. Um, I know there was talks of that. We we can talk about that some other time, maybe. Down yeah. the line. I've seen the I've seen the concepts for it, and I'm just like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, could, I, don't, I don't need a second yeah. E.T. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it's just... Perfect to leave it yeah. off with the first one. And uh, yeah, uh, do you have uh, a movie you'd like to discuss that was never made? Um, I guess like kind of going off that since it's another Disney film, but uh, it's the film Gigantic. Gigantic. Yeah. Uh, what is Gigantic? I've never heard of it. Um, well, it's it was this film that was um, it was going to be about uh, this boy, and uh, he goes like it's like it's like meant to be. Not an adaptation, but it's like, you know, inspired by like Jack and the Beanstalk, where it's about like a boy who climbs a beanstalk and uh, he finds like a civilization of giants in, uh, in the clouds and uh, he befriends this like giant girl. And that's uh, mostly like all the plot details we have on it. Um, but yeah, no, it was set to come out in 2020, um, but it got cancelled like a few years prior and. Um, and it's just, it's just kind of weird because like it looked like I mean it had like some good directors behind it like it seemed like they were, you know they were like they wanted to like bring it to fruition like um, like <laughs> kind of notorious now as well but there's like in Zootopia they had like an Easter egg referencing it. Oh wow! And, yeah, no, it's like it's like the scene in Zootopia where, like there's a guy selling like bootleg DVDs and there are like parodies of Disney films and like one of them is like parody of Gigantic so it's like. <laughs> Oh, yeah. kind of age poorly now. No, no, the film's not coming out. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. That sounds like a, an interesting thing. Did it? Yeah. Uh, do you know any details of why it got cancelled? Or I'm not sure. Actually. Maybe it was because it was too much like Jack and the Beanstalk. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, like they, they, there wasn't like any other Jack and the Beanstalk films coming out at the yeah, time. That's so true. Yeah. Yeah. It's like there was competition. Yeah. What well, What year was it? Uh, 2020 was supposed to come out. 20, oh, right. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I never actually heard of that film before. Oh, no. It's, so, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a pretty interesting case. Yeah, no, that's that's incredible. Mm. Uh, was there any, like, a, a cast attached? Uh, no cast attached. I'm pretty sure it was going to be... Um, it was the director of Tangled, and it was... Oh, God, I'm forgetting the other one. I think it might have... I'm forgetting what the other director was, but, like, yeah, it was the director of, like, Tangled. I think, I think there was two directors anyway. Yeah. But definitely one of them was going to be the guy who did Tangled. And, um, I mean, like, I'd, I'd be looking forward to that since, like, Tangled's personal favorite of mine. Yeah, yeah, no, the Tangled is incredible. And totally. I can see that with Gigantic and Tangled, mm. how similar th- those kind of things are, you know, the big yeah. tower and the big beanstalk and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, you know, that definitely that would have been a very, very interesting movie to see. Mm. Um, yeah, especially in. Twenty twenty. It was it. Was it because of COVID or was no, it? No, no, because it was like cancelled like twenty seventeen. I want to say like twenty seventeen oh, right. and twenty eighteen. So yeah. like had nothing to do with COVID. Either. Okay. Yeah. No, that's interesting. Uh, I never. Yeah. No, that would have been uh, pretty cool to see. Hmm. Uh, a film at uh, the next one. I'm gonna talk about. Uh, are you finished? With uh, that? pretty much. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, the next one I'm gonna talk about is Batman Triumphant. Mm-hmm. Um. It was going to be a sequel to Batman and Robin. Uh, the greatest Bat- movie of all oh, time. Oh, of course. Absolute classic. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. I watch it every night in my sleep. <laughs> oh, but, those but, ice buns. Before I, before I watched Batman and Robin, I was severely depressed and had 
met and had major social anxiety, and yeah. uh, now I'm a billionaire. So fucking Batman and Robin, oh, <laughs> I love it. I want to grab the DVD uh, and eat it. Yeah, and spit it out because <laughs> I want to keep it. But come uh, on. yeah, um, yeah. So uh, Batman and Robin uh, did do very well, um, with critically, um, financially. I'm not sure. It probably did well. You know what I mean. Um, but yeah, the critics weren't very happy. Um, they found it too childish. But mm. attached was the director Joel Schumacher. Attached was Chris O'Donnell, George Clooney, and Alicia Silverstone coming back. I believe everybody was attached to come back. Uh, who was actually discussed and I think maybe cast or definitely in the talks of it was Nicolas Cage as the Scarecrow, mm. which would have been iconic, honestly. I think I, that would have been... Yeah, I would have loved to see that. That would have been very, very cool, especially in that 90s era where Absolutely. Nick was kind of going a bit crazy and all that. Um, yeah. You know, there's a, there's likenesses of that in Vampire's Kiss. It's probably what it would have been. <laughs> yes, they were watching Vampire's Kiss and they just said, like, this is the one. Yeah, this is who yeah, we need. And yeah. like honestly, like I can I can see it kind yeah. of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. It, um, there was rumors of Madonna being uh, talked for Harley Quinn. Yeah. Uh, there was also I think Jeff Goldblum might have been Scarecrow. I don't know if that was true or not. Yeah, they could have been like choosing between like Nick or like Jeff Goldblum for Maybe. Scarecrow. Yeah, um, yeah, that could have been it. I don't know like for Jeff Goldblum like. He could do like I think like you know if they hadn't already used Riddler by that point I think like he could have been a good Riddler yeah, he or like I mean yeah. that stretch he could have been like on a Hugo Strange or something but like I don't know about Scarecrow uh, yeah. I would have been interested to see but like I personally like if it has to be like him and Nick I'd pick Nick pretty yeah, much one hundred percent of the time yeah I'm not sure who else was attached but definitely a concept was that Scarecrow would use like his toxic fumes mm. and. Uh, the George Clooney Batman would see visions of Jack Nicholson, uh, possibly Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman and Penguin played by Danny yeah. DeVito. Uh, those were definitely, and apparently uh, Jack was inclined to come back as the Joker for a small bit, uh, just right. as like kind of visions and stuff. It yeah. would have been very weird because it's supposed to be a different Batman, or is it supposed to be the same I'm one? Pretty it's pretty sure of, it's, it's like a, yeah, it's, it's a bit the weird. same continuity, but it's like they're all like it's so different. Like who even knows? Like, yeah, they could go either way and say it's like not canon or that it is canon to the Burton films. Like, yeah, it's, either way would make a bird as much sense. Yeah, yeah. but now that would have been pretty interesting, especially because like I know like back then like the whole like idea of like <laughs> like when I was in now like it's not as I was in now it's iconic like, but like back then like getting like all these big name people just for like cameos in a film wasn't really that common of a thing. So that was actually kind of ambitious. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's all I can uh, think about uh, for now. Uh, it was definitely just uh, Joel definitely coming back, I believe, to direct. And yeah, that, that's uh, all pretty much of Batman Triumphant. Uh, it probably wouldn't have been a triumph, but it would have been very interesting to see. I, I think it would have been very interesting. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, what's your next one you want to talk about? I guess, yeah, like, hopping off of that again, um, here's a related enough film. It's um, George Miller of Mad Max uh, and, and Babe fame. Oh, babe, yeah. <laughs> George Miller's um, cancelled Justice League film, Justice League Mortal. Right. Which is pretty, yeah, it's a pretty interesting case. Um, it was coming, it's set to end of production, I think, 2007. Um, around the same time, like the Nolan Batman trilogy, but it had nothing to do with uh, that right. trilogy, which right. is, yeah. I don't know if that would have confused general audiences or what. But Probably you know. would have confused people. Like, even yeah. I've had friends who have said to me, Wait, is this Dark Knight Rises 2? Or <laughs> another, no, this is Batman v Superman. Yeah, that's it's yeah. The next, I'm like, No, no, that's it's a different Batman. What? What? Yeah, like, no, like, I mean, obviously, like, nowadays we got like. Shit, we got like Robert Pattinson. Yeah, we, Batman. we have like five different Batman. Yeah, totally. Like, we got like we got like Robert Pattinson, Batman. And then we got Bat like Ben, ben Affleck. Affleck. Ben Affleck coming back for the Flash. Michael Keaton coming back for the Flash. Michael Keaton coming back for the rest of season like multiverse stuff. And then and we got um, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves and like League of Super Pets. Then um, 
then again, like probably there's gonna be like an anime movie with like Kevin Conroy coming out, like yeah. <laughs> and like Bruce Wayne's also a character on Titans. So yeah. like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean like uh it's it's bonkers, but yeah. Um but yeah, back then, like, I don't know, like especially like people if people are getting confused about it now, uh back then I probably would have like thrown people way off. But yeah. yeah. Uh, it's any gonna more have a, details on Uh yeah, no, they had a cast release and everything. Um they were gonna have Ermy Hammer playing Bruce Wayne. Yeah, he was uh, in uh, in line for yeah. uh, the Ben Affleck one as well. So uh, no, okay. no, not the Ben. Affleck, sorry, the Robert Pattinson one. He was uh, one of the choice, oh, really? final choices. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, good enough choice, I think. Like, yeah, like yeah, he would have pulled it off. I think. Yeah, yeah. He's, I mean, he's a bit bit of a weird weirdo right now. Oh like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, right now. <laughs> so maybe, uh, maybe, they, maybe they dodged a bullet and not casting him. Maybe, but yeah. yeah, no. At the at the time, I think would have been okay because yeah. you know, like. You know he's he's an excellent actor in hmm. other things uh, aside from you know uh, stuff going on in the media right now. Yeah, no, all his but, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> struggles. Let's just uh, let's just leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Other ones like it was going to have um, like from what I can gather, it was like um, Adam Brody was set to play uh, the Flash, and actually like, the Flash was actually going to be like the. Uh, kind of the protagonist of the film like it was going to be from his point of view which i, oh, I can fair enough. i can kind of see because he's probably the most like relatable quote unquote yeah, yeah. Uh, of them and um yeah he's gonna have like uh he's gonna have wonder woman and green lantern uh, we love green lantern was gonna be played by common which is pretty interesting oh right yeah and uh funny enough like he w- we wanted to like have that cameo in suicide squad so oh yeah it's funny but yeah it's uh then it's gonna have aquaman superman and um motion manhunter and uh yeah much people but um yeah, Talia Agul was also into your character in it, and um, the weirdest choice, I think, um, was that the villain Maxwell was going to be played by Jay Baruchel. Oh, and, right, right, yeah. Yeah, and that's weird, because, like, I've never personally seen Jay Baruchel, like, playing, like, a villain-type role, and yeah. I cannot, for the life of me, imagine that, uh, so, like... Yeah, I couldn't, like, you know, they're, they're, he has that kind of uh, Jesse Eisenberg, like, super-type yeah. thing like, about him. If I anything, think. like, if anything, like, out of, like, out of cast him as The Flash... <laughs> Yeah, mm. yeah, no, I, I can see what you mean. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I can kind of see him as a Riddler yeah. as well. Yeah, no, you're like, I'd, I'd have liked to, see, like, honestly, like, honestly, like, I'd have liked to see that more than anything, just because, like, that seems so different from, like, everything else he's done, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. Um, funny enough, I've actually read some of the script of the movie, because it's online. Oh, yeah. Um, I wasn't really a big fan of it, to be mm. honest. Uh, it was a bit... I don't know, I was quite bored, um, <laughs> but um, maybe, it, I don't know, uh, I don't know, it just wasn't, maybe it would have worked better, like, if you actually see it, like, in yeah, live action, yeah. but I, I couldn't finish it, to be honest, it was kind of, uh, it wasn't for me, anyway. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I'll say, like, I don't know, it seemed interesting, but, like, I don't know, I think, like, they did the right thing, just, like, focusing on, like, the Dark Knight trilogy for the time being. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And yeah. uh, Superman Returns had uh, came out recently. Yeah, enough to that. yeah, it did. And uh, as well, uh, Man of Steel was coming soon as well. Mm. So mm. you know, they had enough kind of things to deal with at that time. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, George Miller, he seems like a very uh, interesting director. Anyway, totally, for totally. Uh, a superhero film. Yeah, uh, no, definitely. Yeah. I think he could have done it. Uh, yeah. Done done it quite well. Yeah. I mean, he's probably like, I mean, he's, he's, a diver, he's a diverse enough director anyway. Like, literally, as I said, directed Mad Max and Babe, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he directed can... Happy Feet, too. Yeah, he... Yeah. Both, both Happy Feet movies, yeah. 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 He went from Mad Max to Happy Feet, like, that's that's the way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, both uh, the two sides of the coin, really. <laughs> two sides of the heart. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I suppose, is that everything you want to say? Any final thoughts? Uh, Yeah, that's about all I want to say on that one. Yeah, it would have been interesting to hear the score of it, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's, uh, there's, like, obviously, you know, a lot of the Hans Zimmer stuff mm. that comes out is, like, very much in the terms of, uh, you know, a lot of uh, banging and a lot yeah. of clanging and stuff. And then, like, the Danny Elfman one is more kind of traditional, and the mm. John Williams one is very kind of Robin Hood-esque, kind of heroic. Um, it would have been interesting to see who they actually would have got for yeah. the score. I don't know. I, it would have been kind of cool to, like, see a Justice League movie made around that time. 
yeah, just totally. to kind of see what it would have been like, I guess. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, we've already had one, uh, well, I guess two, but like they're the same <laughs> film, but like, you know. It's, it's, it's uh, the same film, um, but, yeah. but not. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know. It's, um, yeah, I, I just want to see more, even if it's not the hmm. uh, same cast that we got. I know there's a lot of stuff going on with Ezra Miller right now that uh, mm. we can leave. Uh, yeah, the uh, the other Miller involved with Justice League stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, no, it, 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 hopefully they uh, do another one down the line, even yeah. if it's with not with that cast. I'm okay with uh, an Elseworlds kind of thing. Totally. Uh, cool. But, uh, yeah, no, just to see stuff like that in live action. Mm. Uh, yeah, no, uh, really, really interesting stuff, uh, you know. Uh, there's a lot of superhero stuff that has not been made, you know what I mean? Like yeah. Lot, um, another one is actually called Superman Lives, mm-hmm. that I want to talk about right now. Uh, it was going to star Nick Cage, the Cage, uh, right again, and it was going to be him as Superman. Now, I've actually yeah. looked into this quite a lot, and it's really, really interesting. Tim Burton was not really a fan of the original Superman the movie, mm. and he didn't want Superman to wear the costume of Superman and Nick kind of threw a fit <laughs> as Nick would do and he wanted to wear the Superman costume <laughs> apparently can't... that's what happened that, that's why it got cancelled what the fuck no that's not why it got cancelled oh right but, okay yeah. uh, <laughs> that would have been hilarious if that was why it got cancelled like Jesus Christ no <laughs> He wanted to wear the Superman costume, but he got the right to do it. Now, with a lot of the concepts of it, now some of it was really interesting stuff, but a lot of it, it does not feel like Superman at all. If you really, really look into it, it does not, like what they were doing didn't feel uh, like Superman at all. Like it, it was definitely something else. There was a lot of weird stuff. and I, I can't even like, describe how wild they wanted this movie to be um i'm not sure if it was going to be because uh, they, they weren't really doing like crossover stuff at this point so mm. i don't know if it was actually inclined to be uh taking place in the same universe as the michael keaton batman or the val kilmer one i'm not sure mm. but um yeah it was it was definitely a very very interesting sort of movie that they were making um who else there was other people involved uh that were cast in in the cast i can't uh pinpoint them now but it was oh jesus christ oh my like if you look at the pictures of nick yeah, uh, like he does look quite handsome and stuff with, does, the, lo- yeah. with the long hair and the. Yeah, but the um, cape was like a really wild cape. If you look at it, it's like red with like kind of, uh, like sparkle shit or something. And it's it's like the glam rock Superman. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it def- it, it would have been really really interesting to see. Yeah. Um, but. Can you remember like what was some of the stuff they wanted to do with the story then? Oh God, yeah, I'm gonna look this up. Actually, because, uh, give me a minute, uh, because um, like it was just so wild, and it was just an absolute, just insanity hmm. to the point. Uh, if my phone will load, uh, I don't know if it will. Uh. No, my phone isn't loading at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, it's um, it was a very very interesting sort of um, thing that they were uh, doing. Like the, it was just, I think it was like he was going to like, <sighs> I can't I can't even describe yeah. it. It was just odd. Uh, like I find that funny now as well. Like he was. He was, like, planned to be cast as Scarecrow and planned to be cast as, like, Superman. And then, like, years later, like, didn't he voice Batman in um, Teen Titans? It was, Titan, su- Titan, it Teen was Titans the Superman. He voiced Superman oh. uh, in the Teen Titans thing. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, I read somewhere as well, he was going to be in The Outsiders 
because uh, oh. uh, that uh, Coppola movie, the uh, Francis Ford Coppola, because he's Nicholas Coppola. He's yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, apparently he uh, he didn't like uh, what he was supposed to do, so he mm. apparently walked out of that. Okay. Um, yeah, no, he's um, he definitely would have been. You know, the film The Rock, it would have been very similar to that, the character okay. he plays, that uh, kind of, you know, Clark Kent would have been very similar to that. Uh, yeah, no, that, that that would have been weird. Uh, he probably would have been like a Stan Kutzby type character. Yeah. Uh, no, apparently he was supposed to uh, die and come back and he was like this kind of angel thing. I don't know, it was so bizarre and it would have been like st- i can't i can't remember like most of the details it was just so kind of raw but you can look it up anyway afterwards sorry i can't remember it right now yeah, i would grand, grand. read it out but i can't sure i mean find it so sure like to, to anyone listening go do your own homework yeah can't, can't expect everyone else to do all your work for you yeah do you have any other movies that um yeah well no um going off of that I guess um, this one's the one I have like the least information on. The least like the least information out there about it. Um, but it's like I think like I think the fact that it was gonna happen at all, like possibly, was like just it's just really interesting. Um, and that's a uh, the Zack Snyder pitch he put to Lucas Films uh, for his own Star Wars movie. Oh yeah. Now from what I can gather, there's like no real plot details on it. Uh, like the only thing we know is like apparently it was like cancelled after like Disney bought Lucas films. Uh, so I mean yeah. I guess they weren't very interested in it and like apparently like it would have been like more in tone with like his other films so it would have been a bit darker than the average Star Wars film. Yeah, and yeah. um it's currently like been reshaped and rework re the reworked into um Rebel Moon, which is coming out next year. Oh, I heard about that. So I'm quite interested to see what he was thinking of. Like I only bring this up again because it's not really that interesting of a story. Uh so far at least like once once that comes out we maybe We'll have more details on like what he was going for, but yeah, I just think I think the fact that like Zack Snyder directing a Star Wars movie was a thing that at any point could have happened. I just think that's extremely interesting. Like, I mean, I, I just yeah, I, I just being like just been like just like you know, it just seems like so like unexpected from like both Star Wars yeah. and his film. It just seems like like if yeah. that happened, that just would have been mental <laughs> i i would have been very very interested to see what it would have been totally um i do think that uh yeah, it's, it's really weird right now the thing is gone yeah, uh yeah they, they want a password but i don't know it so oh crap yeah ah sorry it's probably still recording technical anyway. difficulties it's probably still recording but it's fine hopefully <laughs> it's gone. no it's, it probably is because i didn't stop uh yeah. <sighs> um yeah, Zack Snyder would have done a fantastic job, mm. probably. Uh, I think anyway, like it would have been very, very interesting. You know, he's done yeah. a lot of stuff. Uh you know, Man of Steel, the start of that is a very, very sci fi esque and yeah. a lot of uh visual effects and uh definitely has that uh, visual measure for something like a Star Wars film. Um I think like a rogue one type of story he would have actually done really good at. Yeah, yeah. I don't no, know if that's what he was going for, but like, you know, something uh, in that tone. I think he would have done something uh, spectacular anyway and very, very imaginative because he has that... Uh, he's very, very in line with that, even with something like Soccer Punch. Now, I don't love that film, but you can't deny that a lot of the visuals in that are absolutely mm. stunning and very, very spectacular and uh, very, very imaginative. And uh, the world is just... Uh, he's very, very much a visual filmmaker and he would have done such a wonderful job with uh creating a lot of that um and as well i just i i think he would have done something really really spectacular and i think they would have taken the pitch on board but i think at the time of him pitching that they really wanted to uh gain the original fans back i suppose with yeah. creating stuff like the sequel trilogy and Rogue One and all this kind of stuff rather than doing something completely new because yeah, yeah. they had to keep their producer hat on and be like, we have to kind of uh, wheel these uh, fans back a little bit to kind of give them uh, something that reminds them of 
you know, just something not too new. You know, they had to yeah. get the familiar sort of things. They hadn't, we hadn't seen a lot of Star Wars media for a very, very, yeah. very long time. So the only thing that was like away. really happening around that time was that was like was the Clone Wars. Yeah, Clone Wars. Well, it's like from like the expanded universe stuff. But yeah, like for the, the quote unquote like main canon stuff, it uh, it was just the Clone Wars, really. Yeah, uh, that was it. And the occasional like game. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, Lego stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was that was about it, really. So they had to kind of do. Uh, something that, especially uh, the prequels, weren't loved at, mm. at that certain time. Uh, you know, a lot of people, like very, very passionate fans, only like two Star Wars movies, the original and Empire, and that's it. They hate Return of the Jedi as well. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, those fans. Oh, man. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, it, it would have been very, very interesting. I'm very interested to see Rebel Moon. Uh, it might be dog shit, because, you know, sometimes uh, Zack Snyder... Uh, creates movies that can be uh, sort of hit and miss and all that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, hopefully he uh, does a good job. I think uh, it'll be good. Rebel Moon. Yeah, no, I'm very interested. Do you know any of the plot details of it? Oh, I'm. F- oh man, I'm. I'm uh, they might have released like a little synopsis, but I'm like, I'm forgetting it now. I have it. Oh my god. You have it? Things go boom! Oh, and people scream! Ah! Oh no! And more things go boom, and swords go. <laughs> Rebel Moon coming soon to a th- Netflix. Yeah, it's Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's the trailer. It should be the, the ASMR Rebel we, Moon we trailer. Should- we should have. We should be the marketing team behind. Rebel totally, Moon. totally. Zack Snyder, if you're listening to this, hire us. Hire us, Zaddy Snyder. We need money. Um, mm. Released the, uh, or no, they already released it. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can no, restore. No, like, get with the times. It's restore the Snyderverse. If now. you want, if you want to restore it, uh, you have my money. But uh, I think they should release the air cut first, just for the laugh. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, um, come on, Warner. Uh, it's already, brothers and sisters. I think brothers is a bit sexist, to be honest. It should it be. It should be. It should be the Warner people. Warner people. The Warner siblings. Yes. I know it was probably Warner brothers who yeah. probably hired or made it, but you know, it should be. <laughs> it's speaking of modern times and different pronouns. Like, yeah, you know, it might man. be a little. And the, in the X Men, there's uh, X women as well. And, exactly. you know, it's just. X Men, what? X people, X people, X. Yeah. Just call it X, the X team. X team. <laughs> X team, yes. The, uh, yeah. Um, they couldn't call it Triple X because that's the thing with Vin <laughs> Diesel. And uh, uh, if you go on to Triple X on somewhere else, you might find something a bit dirty. Oh, oh, oh. But uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get a different X Men movie. <laughs> oh like, my god. <laughs> Mystique. Oh um, man, Jesus. Yeah, it's like you know, like we're just talking about like all these films that didn't get made. Can I just say like a quickly like the fact that like Triple X got a sequel like more than ten years later. Like the fact that that was made is like as interesting as any of these. Oh sweet Jesus! No, just, it was. Um, I just don't know how that happened. Yeah, no, it was a Triple X, and then there was the Ice Cube one. Do you remember that? There was a one with Ice Cube in it, and it was like a sequel without Vin Diesel, and then that uh, then they made a Triple X movie with Vin Diesel. Yeah. I don't know if that second one is canon. I think it is. I think it's supposed to be. Please, please, all for all like, like Sam Jackson was in both. The, all oh, was he? So yeah, yeah, he okay, was in well, it. Can all the all the like all the all the the triple X heads in the comments please like inform us on the lore we need to know. Oh sweet Jesus! No, I saw that movie. It's just... <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, ah, uh, fucking triple X. It's it's just fast and furious all of, all at once. Yeah. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, why were not they cancelled? Like, fuck's sake. Mm. <sighs> anyway, there's so many movies that more that we can talk about. Another one is, uh, let's see here. You finish any final thoughts on 
that one. Uh, just it. that I'm looking forward to Rebel Moon and seeing like what he was thinking of for Star Wars. Yeah. Okay, quickly, just to say it, uh, Atlantis uh, series. Mm. Uh, you know, it was originally going to be a series, but they cancelled it and turned it into Milo's Return. You can tell that by the cheapness of the animation. It's not very, very good. Uh, it's a different voice. It's uh, James Arnold Taylor, who did the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi and different things. You know why? He does an okay job. It's very, very good. Uh, you know, it, it's it's kind of all right. It's not as good as the original Atlantis movie, but it does what it does. I suppose it's fine. Uh, the third act is uh, better than the rest of them, but you know what? They, they, they do an okay job. Yeah, that's part. good for them. Yeah. Uh, do you have any uh, other ones? Is Rebel Moon your final one? Or do you I have do have another one. Yeah. Um, this other one is the... Um, it was the animated Legend of Zelda movie that was like pitched for Nintendo Showdown. It was by um, Imagi uh, Films. The guys that did, um, yeah, they did uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like the CG. And the Astro Boy as well. And Astro Boy as well, yeah. With, um, yeah, they did both those films. Uh, they pitched like... Nick Cage was in that. He, he was indeed, and I can only hope he would have been in uh, the Zelda movie. But, oh, uh, <laughs> hopefully, yeah. yeah. And Zelda. Yeah, um, yeah no, but uh, like they made like this this like short, like minute or two minute long like animation of it to pitch to Nintendo and uh, they shot it down but it's all online there you can like easily find it and it looks really good I'm not really sure like why they turned it down um I, I guess like after like the Super Mario movie they were just like they didn't want to do anything yeah in the was films. that was that the one they uploaded as an April Fool's joke no that was a different one okay <laughs> I think that was like that was like by IGN or something and it was yeah. like a live action trailer this is yeah. this one's different okay yeah yeah that's interesting I think anyway but yeah 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 yeah, I do find it pretty interesting, and um, like I know I could see the making a film based on it, like if the Mary movie does well, which like it almost definitely will. Like even even if it's terrible, I'm sure that film's gonna like make loads of money, and they're probably gonna like yeah, probably gonna like do at least a sequel to that, and maybe do some other stuff. Oh God, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, I'm oh, curious to see how that yeah. one turns out. More I, than I don't know. If, I don't know. If I'm kind of in between. Yeah. When it, I'll uh, probably go see it, but I don't know. If I'll watch like the trailer, but yeah, I, I, um, if it look if it because it's illumination doing it, mm. so it's kind of uh, interesting. Was there any cast attached for the Zelda film? No, no, it was literally just like just like a concept they had and was pitched. Though they didn't okay. really get much further. Like if they did get much further, then like that information hasn't been revealed. Okay, yeah, that yeah. would have been interesting. Uh, yeah. First up, of course, is a uh, Link who will be played by Chris Pratt. He's oh, so cool. No, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, he's voicing Garfield though. And yeah, Mario. and the Grinch in some Christmas special. The Grinch as well. Yeah, in oh, something. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. Uh, the next one I got to talk about is Scooby Doo Three. Hmm. Uh, Scooby Doo. Uh. The three would have been a sequel to Monsters Unleashed, that classic movie of Scooby Doo yeah. wearing an afro and sunglasses and dancing in a bar, uh, and uh, lots of uh, iconic imagery. Yeah, shaggy uh, with tits. Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> and it would have been a sequel to that. Uh, I don't really know much about it, just uh, that all the cast would have come back. And you were explaining to me before we started the show about yeah. him. Uh, they, they were going to Scotland and they'd meet yeah, monsters yeah. that would uh, kind of be good and yeah, be like, no. oh, why are you capturing me? Yeah. I suppose that it's kind of, uh, you know, thinking, right, we have to do something else. Mm. We've done like the monster hunting stuff and we've done all this. Yeah, yeah. Let's go and do something that's kind of new for a Scooby-Doo fan. And that's, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. You know, it's like um, James Gunn, he just like he literally just like said the whole plot of it was gonna be because like someone asked him on Twitter like I guess like I know guess like he doesn't have any NDAs up anymore so like yeah. he just he just saying whatever but yeah he basically just said the plot of it was gonna be like to get and go to Scotland and they'd find all these monsters that were like real monsters and they'd find out like oh no they're good and like the world's like prejudice for like like demonizing all the monsters and it's like oh society yeah yeah it would have been. Kind of like monsters versus aliens, a little bit that a way. A bit, yeah. yeah. Uh, but what's gonna be? Yeah, it's interesting. 
uh, I think just more of uh, Scooby and Shaggy together would have been yeah. uh, would have would have been cool. Um, I agree. I I, I, I wouldn't lie. I I would uh, check it out. You know what I mean? If they did have it out, you know what I mean? I would have I would have seen it because I did watch those two movies quite a bit when I was growing up a lot. Yeah, same. Uh, so yeah, no, I I did really really enjoy them. I thought they did. Uh, perfectly their job very very well and they were very very entertaining and uh, I thought they served the, uh, some of the cartoons like I, I would have rather like seen uh, that more than uh, some of the cartoons that they made because they made so many of them that the live action one was just so different and fun yeah. and energetic that it was just so kind of inspiring almost like uh, some of the stuff in it and uh, very funny and uh, new and I keep saying this every time, like, we talk about Scooby-Doo, but it's like, you know, the Snow and the Cut came out, like, Aya Cut maybe will come out. Like, when are we getting the gun cut of the oh, original Scooby-Doo? Oh, the Scooby gun cut. With, all, with, was... all the, with all the CGI'd out cleavage and all this, all the stuff and all the, like, yeah, the no, stone no, jokes you know, if you If you look up uh, the deleted scenes of Scooby-Doo, yeah. you see some of it. Mm. But I'm not sure. I wonder, is there more stuff on the cutting room floor? And I wonder uh, what the original script would have looked like as well. Oh uh, because it was uh, very adult orientated, which is really interesting. But yeah. I don't think for that sort of property, which is like kind of mainly aimed at mm. kids, you know, Warner Brothers were definitely kind of, uh, you know, kind of, we have to kind of pay attention to this. We have to do justice yeah. to kind of appeal to uh, the kids and some of the adult, because there is adult humor in it, obviously. No, no, there's uh, times. Yeah. So I, I can look at myself naked. <laughs> yeah. Or like there is a uh, pasta dochi on the left hand side and there's smoke coming out of the van yeah, and it's yeah. like making burgers. Um, my name is Mary Jane. That is like my favorite name. Oh my God, no way. Uh, uh, yeah. No, yeah, it's, no. Uh, w very, very interesting stuff. I think like as well, like I've heard this, I don't know how true it is, but I think it's like around the same time, like there was like that Joe is in the Pussycats movie that came out. Which is like also like a Hanna Barbera of property, and like it was aimed at adults more than anything. Whereas like it was PG thirteen, I think, and that did apparently like it, it flopped really hard. So I think like that was the way they decided like okay, let's let's make this like more of a kid friendly film. So um, <laughs> we yeah. don't repeat our mistakes. Prob probably why. Um, mm. uh, another one I would want to talk about is uh, I'm gonna do three at the one time because they all kind of intertwine. Okay. Uh, the first one is gonna be Spider Man Four. Spider Man Four was gonna be uh, coming out. And uh, attached to play Black Cat was Anne Hathaway, which is really weird because she played Catwoman. And not then, so like, I, I say now, I'm pretty sure, like, Catwoman came first, but it was basically, like, I think, so I think it was, like, Marvel's attempt at doing Catwoman. So that's funny. She was said to be cast as Black Cat, then Catwoman. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, Tobey Maguire was coming back. Mary Jane yeah. was coming back. And apparently... They had Bruce Campbell play a villain at some point, and it was going to be like unmasked, so that you know all his cameos in the Spider-Man movies mm. is that he was a character that was in disguise as someone, and it was going to be like a throwaway kind of joke thing. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure who was attached to play the villain, but I think the villain was either Vulture or Mysterio. I could be wrong on that, but I think it's uh, one of them that was attached to be. The villain of it oh, oh my god was it morbius no no definitely not um I, i'm not sure who was going to be the uh, actor that would have played that role but it would have been very very interesting to see who would have played that uh but yeah no it would have been great uh to see uh sam raimi take another one and do another uh, spider-man film yeah uh, spider-man 4 it's like it's yeah it's kind of weird because like like, looking back on Spider-Man 3 now, which, like, I do like that film, but, um, yeah. looking back on it now, like, maybe it's just because I know they were gonna do a fourth one, and that got cancelled, but, like, looking back on it, it doesn't really feel like an ending. No, it does not, no. Like, it definitely feels like there's, like... There's more to tell. Yeah, it does. Uh, characters and stuff. Like, you, you didn't actually see uh, Mary Jane and uh, Peter actually get together fully at the end. Yeah. They, like, forgive each other for stuff. But you feel like the Peter's story isn't finished. Yeah, uh, like kind of like it kind of like ends on kind of like a weird note as well because it's like, you know, then there's like his friend died and his like it's all like and it's it's a bit like a bit, a bit of a downer ending weirdly. Yeah, no, it's um I I I binged uh, the three uh, Spider-Man movies right 
and after three, my head was like, oh, I gotta watch the fourth one now. But then I realized it did not exist. So... Yeah, I think that says yeah. a lot. <laughs> yeah, so I ended up watching The Amazing Spider-Man, which is, uh, I argue, is very, very underrated, in my opinion. Totally, I really, totally. really love that film. I think it's uh, uh, kind of a bit misunderstood. It's a darker tone. It's a different Peter yeah. Parker. It's fine. It is what it is. I really, really it's, enjoy it. So. Yeah, yeah. totally. I, um, I'd say like I still like the first Amazing Spider-Man more than Homecoming. Uh, yeah, I like I a lot like, of Spider-Man movies more than Homecoming yeah. anyway. But yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the next one is The Amazing Spider-Man 3, which is really, really interesting. You recently saw The Amazing Spider-Man 2, recently enough, yeah, I guess. Yeah, um, yeah, And it's, like, basically, like, what I said about, like, Spider-Man 3 doesn't feel like an ending. Um, take that and make it about Spider-Man 2, but, like, ten times more. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's how I feel about that. It literally ends on a cliffhanger of... Definitely something it's literally like the incredibles cliffhanger that's literally yeah, what almost it's, what it is. it's it's worse than the, i mean like even the incredibles cliffhanger like isn't as bad as amazing spider-man 2 yeah um but uh no it really leaves uh more so they had shaley woodley cast actually they shot scenes <coughs> with her uh for the amazing spider-man 2 but ultimately they caught her out in the film because they had too much footage and you know they, they couldn't fit it all into the movie they had a lot to tell with that film mm. uh you know and they were going to uh leave her until the next movie which would have been the amazing spider-man 3 uh i'm not sure who was going to be the villain of that film i know uh, felicity jones was going to come back as black cat i believe mm. and i i say they would have been uh back as harry i would say so yeah, uh, I think probably. he probably would have been attached. Uh, you know, he's at the prison at the very end and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there's uh, other villains coming and stuff. And apparently he would have gotten, uh, you know, rogue and stuff like that. But ultimately it got cancelled. Um, and uh, they were actually considering using his Spider-Man for Civil War. They were considering it, mm. but ultimately they decided against it. They need to go to a different take. They need to go to a different tone yeah. for the Spider-Man to be mentored by Iron Man. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, because uh, he would have been like, it was supposed to be on Iron Man's side. And it's really interesting because I can imagine the amazing Spider-Man Peter on Captain America's side. I can, see that. What, what, I can see that. What way that kind of uh, fight would have done, but... Mm. Uh, ultimately, that was cancelled. Another cancelled movie that I don't know if you know about, but I've read about it, and it came out recently. Another Spider uh, my movie that got cancelled was Spider Man versus the Amazing Spider Man. What? <laughs> Spider Man. Versus the Amazing Spider-Man, or it would have been called the Amazing Spider-Man versus Spider-Man, like versus Toby Spider-Man. Yes, oh my god, that was their idea. That was their basic idea. Apparently, I think it was supposed to be that the Amazing Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield, would have turned a bit wrong, probably with some venom symbiote or something, and Toby Maguire Spider-Man would have been fighting him. Mm. Through like multiverse stuff. I haven't a fucking clue. Were they like? Were they actually going like? Were they gonna try and work around like? Oh, both these Spider Man just exist at the same time, and like nobody brought it up. I don't know. I actually, I have no idea. I think Sony were just trying to milk uh, something. They were like, man, Sony like milking like their Spider Man characters. Like they never do that. No, they never do that at all. El, but El Muerto coming to yeah. for. <laughs> what's What's really interesting? We do see a little bit of it. You know, when, when Spoilers in No Way Home. Mm. When Andrew Garfield shows up with the Toby one on the other side of the room, what does Toby do? They like shoot at each other and stuff. So we saw a little bit of what it could have looked like, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, that that was an actual thing. You can look that up. It was an actual thing that they were considering. At this point, like, has somebody actually, like, made an edit of that? Because, like, no- knowing all the, like, knowing all the, like, the fucking Billy Maguire edits, I'm, like, I'm positive someone could, like... Oh, yeah. Someone could make an entire, like, feature-length film based on that if they wanted to, like, yeah. the Maguire... Like, the Maguire edits are, like, yeah. bonkers. Yeah. 
have another one uh, that I want to talk about. Actually, no, do you, do you have another one? Uh, yeah, I have one more. It's um, a bit of a change of tone. It's uh, David Cronenberg's version of Frankenstein. Okay. Now, for the most part, like, I wouldn't call myself, like, a big fan of David Cronenberg, but I just think, I think this should have been made just because, like, just, like, the matchup of, like, director and, like, character is, like, so perfect because, like, he's known for his, all his body horror type of stuff. And yeah. it's, Frankenstein's kind of the perfect character for that. And, you know, we could just sort of, like, love, like, the, the themes he typically does in his films. And it's yeah, just, yeah. like, yeah. Again, not much is known, but it's, again, like, you know, like, just, I don't even, like, need to know much about the plot. Just, like, just, yeah. like, just that alone. Like, I, I can already tell, like, it would have been good, like, for his, like, kind of style of film. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, though, it, uh, was there anybody attached to uh, the cast of Frankenstein? I don't think so, no. Yeah. Yeah, no, that would have been interesting um, to see a monster movie, especially from some, someone like yeah. uh, Cronenberg. I guess, like, I, I wasn't planning on talking about this, but, like, as a quick, like, <laughs> as a quick um, aside, we can also probably, like, since it's related, we can throw in the entire, like, universal dark universe oh, thing. Oh, yeah, that, that was, that, that's, like, I mean, it wasn't even that long ago, but, like, I just, I keep thinking about it occasionally, I'm just like, how, how? How did that even like happen and fail so badly? <laughs> it's like it's like they the, had a logo and everything for they it. They had a logo. They opened it up at the start, like of the mummy with Tom Cruise with like a yeah. logo and it's gonna be like they're trying to hype people up and then it's like they were so focused on that they forgot to like actually make a good film. Yeah, they, they forgot completely. Uh yeah, no, that was crazy. That was mental. Uh, yeah, no, they forgot to actually make an actual film. Uh, apparently with that movie they actually <laughs> released the trailer without the Music and just had the sound effects no. by accident. It was just Tom Cruise going like, ah, and all that. <laughs> uh, by accident, they released that version. Yeah, that's just like everything about it's just like yeah. I ne- I never watched it. Neither I did I. It. Neither yeah. did I. Um, I just saw that logo when I had the cast they had attached. Like, uh, was it Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie? I think like Johnny Depp was the Invisible Man, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Oh man, that was such... would have, that would be pretty interesting. I think it would have been a, a really, really uh, cool kind of dark universe thing. Yeah, well, no, I think I, I think the concept of it is really yeah. good. It's just like if <laughs> it was gonna be a movie. Yeah, like if, if everything was gonna be like on the same level as like the Mummy, then I'd be just like, uh, I'd rather not. Yeah. Even though I do think like the concept of it is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the next one I will talk about if you're finished up with that. Yeah. Yeah. Is uh, Chronicle Two? Oh yeah. yeah. So I can't remember what it was actually called, but there is a script. A uh, Max Landis. Uh, it is Max and Le- or yeah, is Max that a, yeah. No, John Landis is the father. Yeah. Max Landis uh, was one of the writers uh, with uh, Josh Trank, uh, the director, and they, yeah. Josh, God. Um, Max wrote a script and uh, ultimately Fox decided against it. The script is online and I have read a lot of it. Hmm. It's actually really, really interesting stuff. Yeah. It's really, really... Uh, it feels so natural. Hmm. It feels very much in terms with that. Like It feels like, boom, here we go. It was... Andrew's brother, uh, what's his name? Oh, God. Um, no, I, what's uh, Dana Hall's brother in the movie I'm called? I'm trying to remember. Yeah. And I can't quite remember myself yeah. now. Uh, you know who I'm talking about anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was going to be, like, not the main character, but there was two other main characters who kind of found uh, the... Cameras, uh, found the actual cave thing that they did and stuff. They didn't have a, ta- it, w- it was just the script. It wasn't really any cast attached as far as I know, but, uh, that he was going to be like the th- kind of third main character. He was kind of the link from the first film, I suppose. And they would yeah. have like archive footage of them, like looking at the, uh, footage that he shot of, you know, basically the movie Chronicle. Mm. Cause that's all. Kind of a lot of it was like filled with all the camera and stuff. So would this still be a fan footage movie? I I guess so. Yeah. Oh. I guess maybe I don't know. I can't rem- remember if they uh, had it 
uh, if I but if it wasn't, it still would have been really, really interesting yeah. uh, to see it, you know, just to kind of transition. Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, no, it would have been really, really interesting. Uh, I know Max is uh, kind of problem with the industry and stuff like a lot, that. Lot, a lot of problematic people we're talking yeah, about today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, though, ultimately, I think it would have been really, really interesting. And I would have been very, very interested to see that. And yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, Chronicles. Like it's the sort of film like I don't think it needs a sequel, but yeah. if I found out it was getting a sequel, like I'd go see it as soon as possible. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, apparently, uh, the works now is actually a sequel to it, but uh, with girls apparently uh, as the main character. The Chroniclets. I guess. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's uh, it's still in the works. But uh, I am intrigued to see anything that is a sequel to that uh, film uh, with uh, that kind of main story. Should have been. It, it's interesting, you know. Like it, that is one of those movies that you can literally watch anything that takes place in that world. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, totally. It's it's the same with uh, the craft. I did love the craft legacy, but since it's like in that universe, it kind of. It feels like it is in that universe, and it mm. feels kind of really cool, uh, something like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully they do revisit it. I'm very intrigued. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, if they don't do it, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you have another one, or was that your last one? Uh, that was my last one that I can remember right okay, now. Okay, I have uh, a few more. Okay. Uh, another one is Me and My Shadow. Oh, the DreamWorks movie, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know a lot about it, don't you? Uh, again, I watched a, I watched a video about it once by uh, Animat. Uh, if you know that person, but yeah, no, it seemed shout, out, shout out to you, bye. Yeah, shout out to you. Um, <laughs> you're brilliant. Let's collab. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I watched a video by him on it, and it seemed like really, uh, really unique. I definitely think. Yeah. Um, I wish it got made. Yeah. Uh, could you? Uh, do you want to explain the main plot of it, if you can remember? Um, I vaguely remember it's like, there was... It was like about a man, obviously it was that person as a shadow. And it's like the shadows have their own, like, world. And, like, when it was in the shadow world, it was going to be, like, 2D animated. And in the, uh, the human world, like, 3D animated. And it was going to be, like, swat, sw- 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 uh, switching between the two. But I... And I think, yeah, Bill Hader was going to be in it, right? Bill Hader was in it. Um, he did uh, the voice of the concepts anyway for... Right. Uh, anyway, and there's uh, loads of concepts online. Of yeah. It, and it looks very, very unique and incredible. And it probably would have been uh, right up the alley of a very, very good DreamWorks movie. A very, totally. very unique... It would have had uh, Mr. Peabody and Sherman vibes. I would have gotten yeah. that from it. Uh, yeah, but, I can see that. But with the two D animation within it, I think it would have been uh, very, very good. Like even like with DreamWorks, uh, if you go back and watch things like Simbad, The Legend of the Seven Seas, or if you go back and watch uh, something like Prince uh, of Egypt, Prince of Egypt, or El right. Dorado. Yeah. If you look at the boxes uh, on the ship of the uh, Simbad, The Legend of the Seven Seas. The outline of it is very kind of early 3D. Hmm. Very, very... And the the monster looks very, very, like, cheap 3D, but it's in this 2D environment. Hmm. It kind of mixes in very, very well. Kind of gives that vibe. So it would have been really, really incredible for me and my shadow to actually come out and actually be a film that was released... Uh, out of all the DreamWorks movies, I think this would have been would have been one of the most important ones that they should have uh, considered actually yeah. releasing because it looks insanely very very creative, mm. very very good, and it's just it's something they really needed, uh, especially in uh, these uh, horrid times uh, with these emoji movies and these Playmobil movies and oh, the Playmobil, oh God, Christ. what was that? Not not Mushy Monsters. Uh, there was that other fucking thing. That fucking piece of shit with the pit bull as that fucking bear. Uh, what the f- 
fuck with, oh, the I've, ugly dolls that was oh, oh, that, that one. fucking thing yeah Jesus Christ almighty I sat yeah. there watching that fucking thing I was fucking oh, Jesus Christ almighty mate so I take it you didn't enjoy ugly dolls very much. Oh, I loved it no I, I hated it it was awful uh, yeah it was like this fucking what was it it was like a mixture of Bart Simpson and that Fucker Dash from The Incredibles. A mixture of him. That fucker Dash. That fucker Dash uh, walk, running around, dancing away to shit. And then he's like, oh, I'm so cool. Ooh. I think it was voiced by one of the Jonas Brothers. That makes sense. I believe so. Yeah, one of those fucking Egypt. I fucking wasn't like Charlie XCX the movie as well. Oh, like, she was. And yeah. like Lizzo, I think it was as well. Like he was. Yeah. <laughs> Very corporate is that something like oh, such yeah, a corporate no, it movie. It was a very, very corporate movie. It's like the worst Toy Story sequel or the worst Toy Story prequel you could imagine. That's what this movie was. Mm. I like the idea of, you know, ugly, whatever, but oh no, it was like pushing the agenda too much. They just mm. they didn't do a good job, but it. it was fucking horrible. Uh the next one I'm gonna mention uh, very, very briefly is Narnia. But, uh, but, 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 Mr. Healy, there already is a Narnia movie. No, no, no. There's already a four. <laughs> oh. Because Narnia 3 uh, was Voyage of the Dawn Dreader. And yeah. there are a lot more Narnia books that they didn't actually make. And I believe, I don't know why it got cancelled, uh, the rest of the series, but it's because, I don't know, I think it, it didn't do well. Or something, or it didn't do as well as they were expecting, or something. Uh, especially critically, I don't, I don't think it did as well as the other two. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, that uh, got uh, cancelled. And that even was like I never actually saw Don't Tread It, but like I was a big fan of the first two. Yeah, but, like, I was I mean, a big fan on. of the first two, uh, especially the first one. I watched quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, Don't Tread I never actually saw in full either. Yeah, I no, saw same. bits of it. Um, yeah, same. It's, yeah. Like, it's really weird as well because it's like. In general, like, I feel like the Narnia films, like, they seem like a sort of thing where it's, like, maybe I misremembered, but, like, years ago, they were, like, a really big deal, and then they yeah. just, like, people stopped talking about them, yeah, like, for exactly. no apparent reason. Like, so, I mean, maybe Don Trade was just, like, really bad, but, I mean, like, I don't yeah, know. I'm not, I'm not sure. It, like, I've seen bits of it, and it seemed okay, but, uh, yeah, no, it it, uh, it did do uh, very, very well uh, critically, and probably uh, the, the reception wasn't big on it, and I, I think it just kind of lost its way, I suppose. And mm. the kids were aging as well yeah. throughout the movies and throughout the years. Uh, but, yeah, they're clapping for Narnia. Um, yeah. Apologies to the people that are listening to this podcast that are people next door who are fucking annoying. My neighbors, they fucking can't. No, that's my Uwe, Uwe Ball impression. Uwe Ball. Uwe Ball. Oh, Uwe Ball. Jesus Christ, that director. He is yeah. probably the most arrogant director I've ever, like... He's the most arrogant with the lowest quality films to back oh, it up. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'll say that much. Yeah, no, it, it was uh, his rant about, like, oh, these fucking bastard movies, I make art. I'm like, <laughs> you're doing my fuck, my way. <laughs> I, I make art. I make art, these fuckers, like Angelina Jolie and George Clooney and fucking hell. My, yeah. Like, Cut your grass. Um, wasn't he like, wasn't he like, didn't he challenge his like critics or something to a box? He did. He won. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'll, I'll give him one bit of credit. Like, he really pioneered the YouTuber boxing phenomenon. <laughs> Fucking did. <laughs> let's, oh, let's, get, let's get KSI versus Uber Ball. <laughs> oh, that would Jeez. be amazing. I would pay mm. uh, Logan Paul versus Uber Ball. Uh, yeah. He'd win both of them, to be honest, probably. Uh, he probably would, yeah. Uh, he wants to come back, actually, apparently. Uh, really? To do more, yeah. <laughs> a funny story as well. You know, uh, one of my favourite bands is Nightwish. Mm-hmm. Uh, band Nightwish. Uh, Flora Jones is absolutely wonderful. Uh, they do, they have this uh, song called Wish I Had an Angel. It's an incredible kind of symphonic metal song. It was uh, used in the movie uh, we've all did called Alone in the Dark. Oh, I think it was, was it based on a game or something? Yeah, or, yeah, that yeah. One was. Uh, they had footage from the movie originally, but due to the poor reception, uh, 
Nightwish took out the footage from the film. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And I don't blame them. And I don't think it was just due to the poor reception of the movie. I think genuinely they had a hard time with Uwe because uh, I don't think they uh, enjoyed his presence. <laughs> no, no. I, don't, I don't think anyone does with himself. I don't know. I, I just... Oh, God. Um, the next one would be Percy Jackson. Yeah, and, um, you know, obviously, like, I'm, I'm assuming again, like, was this, like, a sequel to the, um... Sea of Monsters. Yeah. Uh, it would have been, uh, a sequel to Sea of Monsters, uh, Logan Lerman and, uh, Brett T. Jackson, Alexandria, uh, Dadier? How would you spell? Alexandra Dadier, whatever, I, I can't just pronounce her name, but, yeah. uh, yeah, though, it would have been, uh, very, very interesting. Uh, oh, you just died. Oh, yeah, I dropped my phone. Yeah. Uh, keep going. Yeah, so it would have uh, starred uh, those uh, three back, and I'm not entirely sure who else was attached to the project. I know Logan Lerman was talking about it, and I believe that it was supposed to be just a regular sequel, would have followed the books through, mm. and... I probably would imagine that it wouldn't have had Pierce Brosnan back because he didn't come back from the sequel. Probably would have had Alex at uh, the... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Anthony Storehead back uh, playing uh, that center character. Um, I'm not sure who else was actually in the sequel because I'm not really uh, big on the Percy Jackson uh, info and stuff like that. I genuinely don't know. But... I would have been very, very interested to see them. Uh, I really, really enjoy the first movie. I think it's pretty solid. Now, I haven't read most of the books. I read some of it, but it was pretty fine. Uh, I enjoyed the first film. It was really, really fun. Liam Neeson was in it. Pierce Brosnan was there. It was okay. It was like uh, it was like Harry Potter, but not. Uh, I think uh, Mark Hermode uh, described it as, uh, you know, those like... Uh, parody Barry Trotter uh, yeah. books and stuff like that. He said it was like a live action version of that. Oh. It's like Harry Potter, but not. Uh, and, but th- there was the sequel to the Monsters, which wasn't as good, but still very, very fun. I, I enjoyed it for what it was, and it was a good kind of one watch film. And I just really, really enjoy that cast. I enjoy uh, Brett D. Jackson. I enjoy uh, Alexander, uh, the girl, uh, black hair. Yeah. I, it, she's um, uh, the, the interaction with those three was uh, really cool. I I like the uh, inclusion of uh, the Cyclops character. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was fun, and I would have enjoyed another sequel. But uh, I understand with like high budget movies like this, when they do yeah. don't when they don't do very well, they lose the studio's money. So they're like, we don't want to lose any more money. Let's let's back off. Uh, so yeah, no, it, it would have been uh, interesting to see more. Uh, I love Logan Lerman. I think he's incredible. He's really, really a uh, good uh, actor. Full of uh, so much range. Um, was he in uh, one of those war movies that you were recommended to me? Or was that a, a different one? Um, I think it was the one with Shia LaBeouf that you were recommended to me. Fury? Not Fury. I think yeah, Fury is the one with him. But I think it was a different war movie that you recommended was to me. Was it Hacksaw Ridge? Probably, yeah. That uh. was it, yeah. I think it was. Uh, Might have been in that. Yeah, it would have. Yeah, it was one of those movies you were like, they're very good. Uh, check them out. But Fury, I haven't seen. Have you seen Fury? Uh, I've seen bits of Fury. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He seems very, very good in that. Uh, and yeah, he's just really, really good. And uh, I would have been uh, kind of uh, enjoyed more with him. But apparently, things. What? What about? What about you? What's uh, your thoughts on Percy Jackson? Um, I've only seen the first one, and that was a while ago. I did enjoy it. Yeah. But, I mean, again, I didn't... Like, I know even less about the source material than you, so, like, take take my thoughts on it, like, you know, grain of salt. Yeah. Um, but I, I thought it was, like, a fun film. Yeah. Uh, you looking forward to, like, the uh, upcoming stuff they're doing with, like, Disney Plus, with uh, Chris Jackson stuff? Yeah, it's really interesting. They're definitely going uh, straight more towards the books because yeah. Rick Riordan wasn't really a fan of the movies and he 
thought they just butchered his books. Um, you know, they're different media. And I understand that, you know, being an author and stuff like that. It, um, characters it. that he created. You get very you know, attached. Yeah, and like, uh, characters that he created for uh, his audience and stuff used in this other way. You know, it could mm. kind of uh, drive him in a different direction. But it's very, very weird because they have casted children, like very, very young children. It's the kid from the Adam Project and some oh. other... Uh, I don't I don't know where the other kids are from, genuinely, um, at all. Uh, that's that's all we know so far is just uh, the three main uh, cast. Uh, I know that uh, some of the... Uh, I believe Alex- <laughs> Alexandria has been uh, very uh, positive uh, about uh, the casting of that's cool. uh, someone... Uh, of a different race as uh, is her name Annabeth Annabelle some, something like that um, uh, they're, they're very uh, she's she's very on board with that and uh, is looking forward to it I don't know uh, I'll have to wait and see uh, some footage from it uh, yeah. genuinely I just hope that uh, they do a very very good job at bringing the story to life and hopefully that it can bring in new fans that's all uh, totally. I hope for uh, genuinely yeah, with that uh Media, but I, I genuinely like kind of got attached to the Logan Lerman version of that mm. character. Genuinely, I really, really enjoyed it. But uh, overall, yeah, would have been interesting. Yeah, let's um, let's hope it goes better than Anonymous Foul, anyway. Oh God, yeah, that's uh, that's a movie. That's, uh, uh, that that should have been unmade. <laughs> that should have yes, that that uh, was uh, very odd because they had kind of Brana attached. They had. Judy Dench attached, and have you seen it? Um, bits of it only. I watched the full thing, and Oof. my god, it was shit. I have uh, a f- there's a friend of mine who was like a who grew up with the books, and he's a big fan of them. And like he saw it when it came out, and he was um not happy. He was he fe- he was like he he felt betrayed, and who can blame him? I don't blame him. I haven't even read the books that I thought was shit. So yeah. Uh, yeah, the next one is I don't know if you're uh, into the di- divergent uh, series at all. I've seen the first one. The first one. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I liked it. I liked. Yeah, it yeah, I liked it too. Uh, very, very good. I read some of the book. It was okay. Uh, like you know, f- from a perspective, it was yeah. very, very interesting. Uh, very, very uh, cool. Uh, very Hunger Games esque. But you know what? Uh, that's the way the kind of trend was. But it has enough of uh, an original mind in there. Uh, yeah. yeah, Victoria's incredible at uh, doing that kind of stuff. But the Insurgent was okay. Allegiant, I have avoided because of the reception. And I've heard that it's kind of all over the place. I do plan to see it out down the line to have mm. a certain like element. You know, it's a fun sci-fi movie. I can watch it as... A kind of a B movie, whatever, but yeah, um, you know, I just, I don't know, I, I, I got really uh, attached to the characters. I was really looking forward to it, just to hear that it's not very good at all. That's mm. where I'm like, okay, I kind of want to back away from this because I was looking forward to something, and it wasn't finished off because that's where it comes to. They, uh, it was unmade. Uh, it was on, uh made the part two of Allegiance or any like conclusion to the film and yeah they didn't have a conclusion at all and they were supposed to do a part two they never did it mm. uh, yeah uh, probably would have uh, been a good idea to do it around the time <laughs> of part one or even film them around the same time I don't really know much of what happened with that production I believe that was in talks or they were going to get it back in track and stuff like that, but everything kind of fell apart and all of that. And mm. uh, would you have uh, been interested to see more uh, wits? Uh, you know, obviously, I don't. You haven't seen the second movie, yeah. But uh, genuinely, if you knew that uh, it ends with. Uh, a conclusion that's very kind of Return of the Jedi or one of those sort yeah, of things. Yeah, it's conclusive. Uh, yeah. Uh, would you have uh, been more interested to finish it off? Yeah, no, definitely. That's like one of the reasons like, I didn't really go further with 
the films like after the first one just because like I knew it wasn't gonna like end and I just thought like eh may as well just like leave it at the first one then. yeah now, now the first one is pretty conclusive like you don't really need yeah, much after yeah. that and uh you know you can enjoy it as like that movie and it, it is a very very good film but i really enjoy uh things in it like the second movie is okay it's just it is what it is but uh i'm just i'm saddened by uh, how uh the third one came out so i have kind of avoided it so yeah <laughs> Okay, the final one, the final countdown. Uh, you mentioned, yeah, the Ingango uh, animated movie. Imagi. Imagi. Yes. Imagi. Yes. Um, they did a film called Cat Tail, right? Hmm. It was supposed to come out in two thousand nine, I believe, and basically, they had a lot done for this film. A lot. They had. Uh, scripts uh, rewrote, l- reworked all of that. They had a full cast, uh, all voice recorded, all of their lines. Uh, they had the full thing done. They had uh, Sean Astin who played uh, Samwise Gamgee. They had Billy Idol. They had Catherine O'Hara. They had a lot of people. Stanley Tucci attached, and the whole thing was cancelled. Uh, I'm not really sure why. It was because a uh, animated uh, thing, uh, Astro Boy, didn't do very well, which is really sad. I really enjoyed Astro Boy. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, it uh, it didn't do very well and was completely cancelled. Uh, they cancelled uh, Cat Tail. I, I keep wanting to say Top Cat. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. I wish that was cancelled. God. Uh. Um, But yeah, no, it was... Uh, there's, there's a full trailer online in HD that uh, someone has... They actually want a, a, a sort of an auction thing or, like, some sale, uh, like, different uh, voice recordings, different uh, script rewrites and all of these different things uh, to do with this film. And he basically said in the description of the video of the trailer that he knows that it probably wouldn't have been the best animated film but it's just a shame that they put in all of this work and all of this yeah. time and all this production, all of this sort of thing, just to have the movie not be released. And if yeah. you look at the trailer, like it wasn't finished yeah. necessarily. No, but you show me, but like even then, for an unfinished trailer, like it still looks okay. It looks better than Sir Billy or one of those fucking yeah. things. Like I mean, like I don't know. I feel like. Even if, even in its unfinished state, like it, you could have gotten away definitely like releasing that as like kind of a straight to TV movie or a straight to uh, streaming movie anyway. Yeah, well, for the modern equivalent, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, no, it's uh, uh yeah, it's just a shame uh, with uh, some movies like that they just kind of uh, fall under a certain radar and stuff like that and don't uh get finished and stuff. But uh, yeah, no, it's um. Yeah, it's it's a shame with all of these films and all of these things. You know, people think that it's going to get a big franchise. Uh, finally, actually, to mention, you know the iconic film uh, with John Travolta, a sci-fi movie, Battlefield Earth. Yes, oh, I I am familiar. So they wanted a franchise. They wanted an animated series, and they what? wanted like a huge thing. They wanted. Everything with this, they wanted what to go fuck? all out. They wanted the, this to be Star Wars. I'll tell you, boy, right? And people saw this piece of shit in front of them on the big screen. The only ones that liked it are fucking George Lucas and Quentin Tarantino for some odd reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. And. Forrest Whitaker was attached. He's probably the only good thing in the movie, to be honest. And I don't think he was impressed, but he was attached to come back for the sequel, I believe. John Travolta actually believes this is, like, a misunderstood thing. And, like, he's like, yeah, you know what? I'll play this character again. You know what? I'm I'm going to do this again. I want to do it again. Like, put put this character in anything. I'll do it. I just, when I read that, I had the imagination wow. of, like, you know, one of those scary movie, epic movies, piano movie, Jesus guitar Christ. movie, just to have him in it, 
what do they call a sci-fi movie? Yeah, Fucking, something like that. Yeah, like a sexy cosplayer like Paris Hilton as Leia. And then you have John in like the big dreadlocks or something. And you probably have like, uh, I know that Thade from like Planet of the Apes with like a big cock or something. Something <laughs> stupid just, like that. On, on the poster for you sci-fi have, movie. You, you have, have a vivid imagination. I No, they, they, these are the type of movies that they make. You know yeah. when you watch anyway, I see now that shit. Anyway, with Battlefield Earth, just to let you know, it is terrible. It is like someone left the set of Planet of the Apes, right? And they were like, "Oh, you can have the camera. You can have all this." <laughs> Bye. And then the camera somehow got locked on its side, yeah. and like they couldn't get it to like turn over. So they were like, I "Let's can, film." I can only hope. In the plans for this sequel in this animated series, they would have at least kept like the camera being like at a tilt. That's like that's the most <laughs> iconic thing about it at this point. The tilted camera angles. Every yeah, uh, just not even the tilted camera, but every scene ends with. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, I would have honestly like I would have wanted to see that just cause, like I'm sure all of it would have been terrible but like I wanted to, I want to see that just cause, like it would have been like so terrible yeah um yeah it was that, that was our plans for uh more stuff like that and uh yeah it's a shame with uh, most of all of these movies though that kind of I can't, I sp- except for that one uh, you know yeah. all the good ones like uh you know, the, the franchises that people were into, mm. like Treasure Planet or, uh, mm. you know, work that was already done and people were excited to get a part of this and actors are cast and, you know, it's ready to go, let's go, let's do this, people are going to love this, people are excited and then execs are like, no. No. Yeah, especially with, uh, you know, animation because oh, yeah, that's, no. that takes hours. Hours, yeah, I can only hope. Yeah. The people working on were paid at least for their work. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, it's it's weird about hoaxes as well. Uh, hoaxes with like uh, fake movies being made, mm. uh, like uh, with that uh, April Fool's joke from IGN. Yeah. Uh, there was also that other one with uh, Dundee. Do you remember that? Dundee, the cro- like crocodile Dundee. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if you noticed, uh, before uh, they made a a Dundee. Uh, trailer it was a super bowl thing but it was starring danny mcbride as dundee's son and chris chris hemsworth was attached as well and margot robbie isla fisher uh loads of other australian people right and they had a trailer for it and people weren't impressed actually because they thought no way is Danny McBride the son or whatever. Don't so, be. would he have been doing an Australian accent in the movie? I believe so. Yeah, no, it's, it's, there's an actual trailer for it and it's like made in this actual film style. Yeah. So, people thought it was a real movie. Oh my God. Fuck it, I want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see that like as an actual movie. Yeah, no, it, you can watch the trailer right now. Uh, I think there's an extended one. There's definitely one with uh, more Chris Hemsworth and Margot Robbie in there. It, you know, it's, it's very. Um, it's very odd, but um, mm. uh, yeah, uh, just stuff like that, like hoaxes. It's it's very interesting, uh, especially yeah. on like an April Fools, uh, yeah, sort of like, thing with like Link stuff like that. Uh, I know they were like, I know they were like, um, it might have also been IGN that did this for like for one April Fools. They like they released like a fake trailer for like an AMC like series based on like Grand Theft Auto. Oh and, really? Like, it was actually pretty well made. Yeah. Oh. And, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was an April Fool's joke, so... Yeah. Uh, I don't know if this was April Fool's, but uh, there was that Bambi trailer with Dwayne oh, Johnson. on SNL. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was brilliant. That was. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, any final thoughts on uh, on May films? Um, well, I guess, to finish off, I would like to pose a question to you... If you could take any one of these unmade films and actually have them be finished, which one would you pick? Mm, that's a really, really good question. Uh, and uh, not just for you, but 
for Sean as well. What what would you pick out of all the movies we discussed? See, like, um, I think I'd probably pick The Amazing Spider-Man 3. Oh, that's a very, very interesting choice. Yeah, just because, like, I feel like, given the note The Amazing Spider-Man 2 left out on, like, that's kind of the one that, like, quote-unquote, like, needs to be made the most. Yeah, Like, that's it feels, true. like, unfinished. That's true, yeah. Like, even, like, even, even with, like, No Way Home and everything, like... Like I said, like with Spider Man Three, like Spider Man Three doesn't really feel like a conclusion, but like even then, like the No Way Home stuff from like Tobey Maguire, like like he's coming up and he's like telling me like how he's like doing stuff. And he's like he's he worked out his marriage and everything, yeah. and it's yeah. like you know, if I never got to see Tobey Maguire Spider Man again, like that feels like a nice note to leave out on. But like even then, they still like they definitely like hint that there's like more like character development to be done for um for Andrew. Yeah, yeah. So like I think like yeah, that's the one I think like yeah. Hope yeah. they have the line that they actually do it. Uh, yeah, because yeah. It, they are, they're on the right though, so hopefully we get that. I think, like, yeah, I definitely think, like, if the word about, like, having a competing, like, Spider-Man film with, like, the MCU Spider-Man and, like, Into the Spider-Verse, like, they could do it as, like, a streaming service movie at least. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, I'd like the actual one, but, like, if they did that at least and then just, like, finished it off. Yeah. Like, put on a streaming service, so it's, again, like, lower risk, like, not yeah. as much, like, money going into the marketing, so, like... Yeah. Because you know it's been more a niche idea, but yeah, if they did that. Honestly, like I'd be, I'd be, I'd be satisfied. Yeah. Uh, my my would probably be me, my shadow, because yeah, no, that's that's probably close second, I think. Yeah, no, I I've, I was like struggling in between a lot of these, mm. um, and I I think me and my shadow, you know, a lot of these are like franchise movies and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but I I think me and my shadow because, not only was it like a really really kind of groundbreaking idea it just would have been so unique it would have been kind of dreamworks's version of inside out in a way i can see that yeah no it would have been it was like it was coming out before inside out as it, well wasn't yeah, it? So, yeah it was probably yeah but um y- you know i just think it would have been really really incredible for uh not just uh you know just that idea of talking to your shadow and stuff i just find that so creative mm. and like everything about that is like so incredible and like the mix of 2d and 3d it would have been like really groundbreaking and stuff so yeah uh, we'll leave leaving off at that um hope you enjoyed this podcast and uh yeah The Funky Podcast. The Funky Podcast. The Funky Podcast. Doing a podcast. The Funky Podcast. Woo! The Funky Podcast. Yeah. The Funky Podcast. Let's go. Goodbye. Ciao. Hopefully that works. Anyway. Hopefully it did. That was a lot of fun. I it was it. a lot of fun.